Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Jason. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? Sean wants his teddy. He must have left it lying around here somewhere. Hmm. It was in the laundry room the last time I saw it. Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean.
What the heck is happening to me? I must be going crazy. Guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly hey, 10 minutes she thinks when I'm the a client. Rings. It's over, okay? I'm gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. <laughs> 